it wasn't a little bitty laugh. He was howling with laughter. He absolutely could not control his delight. This kind of laughter is known as Dupa's delight. Dupa's delight is the pleasure of being able to manipulate someone, often made visible to others by flashing a smile at an inappropriate moment. Dupa's delight happens when the person telling a fib cannot control their happiness over pulling the wool over someone's eyes. Here is a very famous example of Dupa's delight. OJ was pulling this shit a lot in court and at his parole hearing. Oh, that's for another video. But this is just... The Dupa will smirk, smile, chuckle, or outright laugh hysterically. It happens when you or someone else feels unrestrained glee for getting away with it. And then goes on to other examples in history. We're going to show you some of Kali's duping delight. Because in the future, it's going to be kind of a thing in culture, um, the word trigger, and for people to become triggered. So, um... Yeah, I wrote the song Trigger Everything when I was a kid, even the solo in the, uh, in the Mind Voice Tech, the music room, because um, yeah, not every single person in the Illuminati has access or the ability to use the Mind Voice Tech. It, it's only certain ghostwriters, and I happen to be one of them. It's very few people who are allowed to use that technology. But um, came up with Decker, the show, and we came up with the name Decker, not only because it's like, you know, High Decker, but D-E-K-K-A-R for... She smiles throughout all the things, every video she ever makes, every time she's saying something. It's the most ridiculous thing. It's just, it's amazing just to watch her. And Decker um, is kind of a jab at the cologne, uh, Dracar, a little bit, and my dad um, wore that cologne a lot, so there you go. There's a little... Uh, pop culture reference there. Um, another thing, too, I want to talk about is Dr. Wareheim. It was really fun um, coming up with the ideas for <laughs> Dr. Wareheim with you guys. Uh, but this is actually um, not a happy thing to talk about. Um, this is actually a video of... She was laughing like it was a happy, wasn't she? Huh? <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> you gotta mock this fucking creature. Me basically getting um, anally raped by... Now, wasn't that funny, huh? Segue into the big anal rape. <laughs> oh, was that duping delight? Uh, Mark Levin. Mark is in Eric Wareheim's body, and I am in Tim Heidecker's body. Um... And so Mark has a speculum with a bunch of lotion on it, and I'm in Tim Heidecker's body. So what happened was I was transferred in my sleep, REM consciousness, into Tim Heidecker's body, and I, was, I woke up in Tim Heidecker's body on this set, on this um, medical bed, and in this hospital gown. And, um, yeah, it's, it's real. Like, the pain on Tim Heidecker's face is my pain. That is me. So I just want to show you that is me getting anally raped on TV, basically. Dr. Wareheim, episode one. And you'll see that we have four episodes. Episode four of Dr. Wareheim is actually just a composition, like a compilation of um, Tim and Eric in episodes two, three, and four, because that's them. And you'll, if you watch episode four, you'll be wondering, huh, how come there are no, um, bloopers or outtakes or people laughing from episode one? Because episode one was basically me getting raped. And, um, now I'm going to switch over to something funnier to talk about which is um, a song. <laughs> I'm going to go from anal rape to something funny now. He's <laughs> fucking broad. What a fucking... Oh, my God. What a sociopath. 
called Trump Talking Nukes. Now, a, a long time ago, uh, a while ago, um, Tim and Eric were like, okay, Carly, we have to write a song about Trump. Carly, you gotta write a song about Trump. And I was like, I don't really know anything about Trump or his life or whatever. So we just looked up on Wikipedia, Donald Trump. And then I sat at the piano and just like hashed out this goofy song about Trump. And it actually turned out really good. And um, I was a fan of this song. I was a fan of Decker too. I was a fan of uh, those songs even before I was awake. Like, I was a, a fan of Adult Swim before I was awake, and lo and behold, I am the mother of Adult Swim. So, another fun song that I wrote um, for Tim Heidecker was the song When I Get Up. And um, I'll show you here. Uh, Tim wrote the other songs on this album, and... Um, he writes a lot of his own music, too, but um, I wrote this song for his album, and um, it's a good song. Um, yeah, but if there's two people that I just have always loved working with in Hollywood, it's Tim and Eric. They always make me laugh. Like, I... I feel very, very fortunate, and I'm so glad that I made the correct choice in choosing them to be my compadres in the Adult Swim uh, channel, and please check out the Adult Swim streaming service. Um, you won't regret it. It's online. I'll put a link in the description as well. Another thing that I came up with was Jash. The comedy troupe, I named that um, comedy troupe channel Jash. J A S H. Um, what else is there to talk about? I guess that's it for now, but Tim and Eric, I love you guys to death. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking classic, man. I get emotional just thinking about you guys, so I'm gonna end. Um, yeah. I get emotional just thinking about you guys, so I'm gonna end this video now, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll bet you she actually gets off on this fucking shit. Honestly, I'll bet you she does. I'll bet you she does, man. It is fucking insane. You gotta look in. Hey, everything she always watched for the duping delight of this psychopath. It's fucking insane. You know? This guy really goes into it, but... She does all this fucking crazy shit. Every... I'm not even gonna read it. I'll put the link in there, but it's like, there's tons of this shit. You can see it, man. It's like, she does all the crazy shit. She really does. She is a fucking nut. Yep. And so, I think it was not the very next night, but I think the following night after that, um, when I was brought back to the cloning center, um, the Illuminati had groups of people for me to choose from, they were going to give me their their quick elevator pitch about who they are and what kind of comedy style they have, and there was about four groups of two to three people, and one of the groups was Tim and Eric, and I knew immediately that um, they were the ones I was going to hire, and um, I have not regretted that choice ever since. <laughs> She was going to hire. All right, that's the end of it. This is the retard lady. God, man, she is fucking nuts. But there it is, duping delight. We'll make some more. She came out with a bunch of videos since my last. It's fucking crazy fuck. <laughs>